Sofrito is ready, we're going to make ropa vieja, the national dish of Cuba. It's called ropa vieja means uh, all garments, all clothes, because the way that it resembles one that is made. Um, the first step is to uh, brown the meat. And this is uh, beef that can be shredded, a skirt and I am going to brown it in olive oil for a couple minutes on each side before we add all of the other ingredients. We're going to be adding onions, red bell peppers, green bell peppers, garlic, tomato sauce, and black pepper. This is a very simple dish to make. It just takes time to make it. So we let the, we let the uh, meat brown and we'll be back to continue making ropa vieja for your pleasure and my pleasure. Now that the meat is ready, it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to be adding uh, onions, about one full onion, peppers, bell peppers, red and green, a slice and a stripes. I like red and green because it adds more color. And of course, garlic. Wow. And tomato paste I'm sorry tomato sauce I'm going to get a little bit of water like a, a cup of water and I have added two cups of tomato sauce the uh, ingredient measurements will be published on the uh, YouTube under uh, the description now, I'm going to be adding black pepper. I'm going to be adding about a uh, teaspoon of black pepper. You can add more or less, it's up to your taste. And now, we are going to slowly cook this at uh, 320 degrees for about two hours or until the meat can be shredded. Time and patience and good ingredients and the right spices makes this a very unique dish very very flavorful I'm forgetting the sobrito so let's get the sobrito I have the sofrito here and I'm going to be adding about half of the sofrito that I made because the other half I'm gonna use it later in the month for other Cuban dishes little bit of the liquid yes <clears throat> ropa vieja you know I can almost hear the music the drums the trumpets the horns everything good about Cuba Cuban music I'm gonna add a little bit more of sherry just because I have it. Now we are going to slowly 
cook this for about two hours to make the most delicious ropa vieja. Now that the beef has finished cooking for about two hours with all of the vegetables and the sofrito, I have taken the meat out of the cooking pan because now I am going to shred it. So with two big forks, shred the beef. It should be easy to shred at this point, as you can see. Shred the beef into small shreds, into small spices, into small lines, and then put it back in the pan and uh, cook it just for another five to 10 minutes and it should be ready. I am uh, boiling rice and also I'm cooking black beans to accompany our ropa vieja or uh, old clothes or old garments. Ropa vieja is the national dish of Cuba and is delicious. So I will continue to shred the beef and I'll be back to enjoy Ropa Vieja for your pleasure and my pleasure. Our meal is ready. Ropa Vieja. All garments, all clothes, the national dish of Cuba. Two hours to make, but well worth it. This is... Mm -hmm. Incredible. The last time that I made this dish, I was cooking it for about two hours and more. It was around nine o'clock at night when I finished it. A friend of mine called me and I told her what I was making. She says, hey, bring me some. So I rushed to her house to have her enjoy this. And this is just a dish that you cannot wait to taste. Ropa vieja. I hope that you enjoy it, make it for yourself, you would like it. Uh, when you go to a Cuban restaurant, order it, it's the best dish in the house, ropa vieja. Until the next time, salute, and with ropa vieja, there is nothing better than a Cuba Libre, salute. Thank you for subscribing until the next meal. We're gonna be cooking this month more Cuban food to your pleasure.